Good morning, friends. Sunday morning, building you a video. Uh, as you know, I went on a long journey, but before that journey started, my boy, you may know, is in is in camp. He he's 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 logging in camp. He's doing single stem logging, which is where climbers go in in a stand of timber. They have cruisers go in first. They mark all the trees, foresters, if you will, and they go in the stand of timber and they mark trees. And then the climbers go in and they fly up these trees and they kick tops out of them and, uh, and tape them and mark them to length. And the choppers come in and they pick them up off the stump. There's another crew that goes in and they, it's called jigging or, or there's another term, but jigging is what I remember here. And, and, and that's when the fallers go in and they jig this tree up and set it up. It's kind of like a snap cut, but not really. There's a couple different methods you can do. It's actually quite interesting. Apparently, there was a stand of, of, of trees already jigged that went through like, and, and I'm talking hundreds, if not a thousand trees were jigged. And then the, the boys, I think they got, they, they left camp because it was a storm or something. Hogan was telling me, not one of them blew over. Not one. But remember, it's not a tree now. It's just a, a standing stem. But anyway, regardless, the boy was so excited. He got the, the call to go in. And uh, he's done his second shift now. He's going back for his third. Uh, he, he's, I'm so proud of him. He's doing incredible. And he's taken to this like a, like a fish in water. Uh, anyway, uh, just moving a message there. So, but before he left, he needed to set his belt up for single stamina. And that included having an axe. So we resurrect he picked an axe he's never done this before so he didn't know what weight to use we kind of figured it out but i think we might have gone a little bit heavy so he wants a different one now but regardless we had to get him going and set up for an axe so we had a head from a guy and i think we had to rehalf the axe because we took it off a handle and swapped it to a shorter handle but this is the process of this is actually interesting friend this is this is good for people who have axes or doing vintage axes we take a, a head off and put it on and do an old style hafting right in the bunker and the boys with me. So friends, just enjoy this. It's something that we had before we left on the trip. Over and out. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. We're, um, we're fixing my boy up a, an ax. We, we hafted an ax quite some time ago, friends. And, uh, it's this one in the vise, so I'll get you on the wide span here. I want to show you how we rehaft an axe, and we want to save this handle. It's a Kobe Owen handle. It's an ash handle, but it's beautiful. But Hogan's going on a camp shift out in the bush. So we want to show you how we go about saving out a handle on a rehaft. This is this is the process that I that I do. Oh, Jolie. How's it going, everybody? Hey, hey, good. You getting off to camp? Yeah. Whereabouts are you going exactly? A place called Tipola. Tipola. It's at the head of Harrison Lake, the northern tip of Harrison Lake. Okay. On the mainland, if anyone knows the geography of British Columbia. So you're basically in line with Chilliwack, but north. Probably. So you're actually you're actually putting your faith in old knuckles. In the truck? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's never broken down on me. Well, hey, Morgan's looking after it. Yeah, it's fine. The only breakdowns I've ever had was the alternator belt, and I know how to fix that, so. That's right. So, we're going to save this handle while Hogan puts a beautiful jazz, uh, jazz flavor on the day and a rainy day. a week now I haven't, I haven't broke I can't remember the last time I broke a stick <laughs> Okay. 
Can you guys see what's going on there? Yep. Can you make it wider? Make, make it close up, buddy, on there, please? So you want to drill the wedge out without sharpening up the handle? Yeah, wi wiping out the sides of the axe of the axe handle. A little bit's fine. You can see what I'm doing, right? But yeah. I'm I'm maximizing the size of the drill bit because that's a big wedge. Mm -hmm. So I'm maximizing. I could go one smaller, but I've done this so many times that, and you you got to watch it. You go off to the side a bit too. You got to watch it. Yeah, it's kind of neat, actually. That was lovely. That was the shot right there. That was the money shot. Okay, I'm thinking, friends, that we could probably almost good and tight. Let's see what happens. What you can do, too, friends, is get like a piece of wood. You know, a block like this. There we go. Famous little. This is this is feeling good. Real good. It's over. Look it. Okay, so this is important. I'm feeling alright. I didn't know traffic does a version. Oh yeah. Traffic did the original. I thought it was a Joe Cocker song. But it, traffic did it before Joe Cocker did. There it is, friends. And nothing is wrong with it. Nothing. Did we drill some wood in the bottom? Yeah, Absolutely well, we did. That don't matter. It's the size we want to save out, friends. So that's what I do. I take my time. And we do it. So, Ganges, we're, we're saving this and then creating another handle with that? Yeah. How do you want that? Uh... Here's the bush axe right here. We're making a bush axe for Ganjolics. Climbing axe, so it'll be short. It'll be Climbing short, axe. Small axe. It's now, curved. you want a straight handle? Do you, oh, yeah, straight handle. I'll tell you something. I don't like a curved handle. Well, with a short hatchet, a curve is nice. I'm telling you this right now. But it, it's not going to matter. Any hatchet handles then? Because I don't know. Well, I might. I don't want to cut up a, a perfectly good What do you think of that, Gant? Go good. good one? Yeah, it'll go good. All right. Well, friends, we found an actual handle. Oh, yeah, that's going to be neat. That's yeah, perfect. it's actually perfect. That's perfect. I dug out a little handle that I had tucked away. Uh, it's a little hatchet handle. It's a little hatchet handle. But with a full size head. Well, full size eye. Yeah, with a full size eye, exactly. Which is actually kind of nice, Angie's. So what are we gonna do? Make this fit? I guess. Is that how you is that how you do go about this process, I guess son? So. I've never done it. You you're not gonna get more perfect than this. No. It's like it was meant to be. This is crazy. Would you like me to carry on forth? It's a different drawn I think we're gonna use. Oh that's a that is a, uh, a special tool. This is funny, I was in the antique shop like a, a while ago, and uh, I seen a bunch of spoke shaves and, and uh, draw knives and stuff. Yeah, where, in town? No, at the cedar one. Oh I, yeah, I yeah. I bought you a couple like a, a few years ago. And I, was, I remember that. Oh, look at this, Come on, spoke shaves and things. And, and the guy, the owner of the store was looking at me funny. He's like, he's like, how do you know what like, that is? Dude, how do you know what that is? And I was like, oh. Hafting, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. What have we done? We're in, I think. This back of this axe is interesting. Oh yeah, I see. It's, it's actually a nice little axe. Real nice little axe.
be darned. This is settling in kind of nice. It's Tin Man Star, it's a different one. Oh, that's the Tin Man's. Put Get... different dogs on it? No. Nope. Yeah, custom dogs. Oh, nice. See if you can fire that up. Are you man enough to fire that? I don't really want to listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll fire Chains. it. I heard chainsaws. No, please don't. Let's see if it, I want to see how many, every once in a while, I was told by Tin Man to just see how many pulls it'll take. There you go. Go inside with this oil. Smoke. No, it's all I need. Smoke us out. It's all I need. You can sure smell the fuel, boy. Oh, yeah. She drinks the fuel. On the joke. Okay, back to the axe. It's going to seat so nicely, yeah. that's not going to make no difference. There. That should do it. That should actually. Oh, let's see, it's going to go to there. There we go. Finishing touches right there. Hear that noise? That's the noise right there. So that so that is down. It's it's look at this dude. It's actually it's got some weight. Well, it's a two and a half pound axe. <laughs> Straight as an arrow? <laughs> Heck yeah. Straighter than it was originally. I know. <laughs> Which is a bonus. There's a big gap over there, but. Where? The top there. Well, that's what happens with a wedge. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, this will be sweet. Is that, knowing you though, learning, learning from oh, yeah. certain people in the industry, you probably won't be doing a lot of wedge banging. Well, I don't have to, but I mean, well, I see, guys. Unless you, you're you, unless you're under the stipulation that you have to use a third. No, you don't have to. Well, I think you do. Yeah, you 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 do have to stick to the cotton program. Yeah, yeah. Just like Baldur's cuts, I'm pretty sure. Okay. But you can always, if it's worth shinning up, some guys will take a minute, lift five or six big limbs off. Yeah. Other guys will bang wedges. Yeah. We'll six see. and six. You'll make those we'll calls. See how it goes. When you're going, talk to other guys, see what they do. Yeah. Okay, well, dude, this thing's done, son. Like, is that, that's gonna bang wedges. Oh, yeah. yeah this is actually sweet. a super nice little axe. Yeah. Colby Owen gave Ganges that axe. And I've cherished it. Now it's gonna get some real use. Yeah, now it's, it's gonna get used. It's too be, small to really use for regular wedge banging purposes. That's, that's a pecker pole banger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna be have fun banging over stems but and stuff what that, a nice but. little axe with the tree on it friends did you notice that's that that's what i love about it yeah no it's good it's gorgeous it's the tree just a little tap it's time i don't know how this is gonna go this one she's short and stubby Gum is man. <laughs> That's the sweet gum. Oh my gosh! <laughs> there she be. That's actually a nice little axe. That. A really nice little axe. Look at that little tree top banger, friends, right there. Just a freaking beauty.
I guess he's heading out to the bush. It'll be nice and moist out there. We don't have to worry about a wedge, but I think I'll put one in it anyway. We're going to put one of these in his axis. Make it extra straight. You don't have to pin them for, uh, for climbing. No. It's only fallers have to pin them, so. Yeah. But there's no sense in... Uh... So let's use our... I can't believe how much I have used this little ball peen hammer. It yeah. is like it, a dream hammer. <laughs> Complete dream hammer. So let's put this... A long time. I have. Let's put that right there like that. What that's going to do is mash that out over top. You'll have the coolest axe in camp. Okay. Dando son! I know I will. So watch what happens, friends. This is what I did when I started making axes. Because I wanted my axes to go, no, go nowhere, right? So this is what I used to do. Show you. And people would see the... They would, they would see the wood break and they'd go, oh my gosh, what are you doing? I'll show you what would happen. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, but now you look on all the axe pages and all the Facebook pages and people's axes are sitting up like this with a big proud top on it. That's right. With wooden wedge, with, with, with your style, not to... I know. I was going to do research and see when Dude, this it, started happening. Yeah, it was not, right after I think I started yeah, not doing Not to it. toot your horn, but I never saw anyone talking about Tazzy's all the time, you know. I, well, that's... I, I think there's some, a little bit of influence. Well, that's... Maybe I'm just pumping your tires, but... No, I think that's how it goes, though. I never saw one person post a, post a done-up Tazzy, and also, people weren't burning and oiling their handles like that. Oh, that, that definitely... That was, that was the fucking thing. And this, actually, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could you just give me a look? Thank you, thank you. We started it. You started it. You're the coolest. I'm a trend starter. That's the new one. Oh, I didn't even know I sent you another one. No, that's the new one. Ben. That's why I was so confused. I was like, so it's friends, a we're gonna we're gonna put one of these in now. Oh, one of those two. So I yeah, right here. You put them in diagonal. Or or what I can do is I've got another smaller set of these, but I'm actually just gonna put one of these suckers in there. That would be a dandy right there. It's like that. Shaklank. Okay, so a little 45 like that. That's just what I do. Kalipijanja. Kalarzanza. Pineshkanashka. In your own language there. Because you're a wild man from Borneo. That's right. See that? Now look at that. You're not, that's not going nowhere. Who doesn't want spread like that? Oh, yeah. Now I sand this. Yeah. So what we can That's do handy. now to... That's handy. Yeah. Remember this, friends? Remember this sucker? Remember? Check it out. <laughs> yeah, this is what I remember. <laughs> Do you guys remember when I went all crazy doing this stuff? It works incredible. And there's my other tool for, for this guy, right? So it's just, it's overkill. But friends, I, you know what I mean? This is the, the program. Okay, that's why I do that. And they don't go anywhere. I've, I've got axes that are still like this. But what I do, this is what I do now. I take my sander, friends. Okay? So that, that's kind of what I do. All right? And then, what I used to do, I'll show you. Just, okay? Look at how snotty it is out today. Just disgusting. So I used to go like S. Come on, let's go for it, man. Let's do it, let's go for it and go inside and see what's happening inside around the fire and around the drums, the drum set. Uh.
the drums and the axe and the making it tell clean and the edges so you don't take the edges and getting them hooked on something like that friends and still you get your you know you get your ramped up over the side mushroom action happening she's not going anywhere friends the sax will last you a good long time friends that tax right there it'll last you a good long time friends you might want to check out your little size i think there check out your axe sunny there you're still filming there <laughs> job where you've got you just need an axe for a couple little so four or five little trees whatever, yeah. yeah well i've got i was fellows were asking me on the channel they're saying hey what have you got like i see you they wear this belt and then that belt and i'm like well i wear the big leather weaver one when i got some falling to do yeah like if you know you're like a patch gonna, yeah but if i got two or three trees to fall four trees i'll throw on august hunnicky's little one there yeah. or just a belt With the belt and then the suspenders yeah yeah i just yeah i don't like having a big kit on it i just no. want the belt on right on well thank you man i appreciate it i'm still decided whether i'm going to paint it or not so well you want to be able to see it exactly if i drop it out of a tree I'm yeah gonna... i go blue because i can't see nothing blue. but blue yeah well there's nothing in the forest that's blue so, so do you want um i think i'm gonna rattle can it blue <laughs> do you... yeah do you want, uh, I've got, I got the paint. Blue paint? Yeah. Cool, let's do it. It's in that uh, cabinet with the dog holding it shut. Cool. Pretty it up. Off to camp he goes with his new axe. <laughs> Chopping the cutting the tree down. <laughs> right on. Thanks for doing that. You're more than welcome, son. Maybe we'll get cleaned up now. Okay, you take it easy, kid. <laughs> that was a little cross between uh, the drifter and uh, Clytus together. <laughs> Oh, friends, <sighs> the amount of, excuse me, pride, you know what I mean? Friends, this is all, but his whole life has been documented on the channel. Do you remember the first tree he ever climbed? My boy's first tree topping. Check it out. It was, it's so cool. I'm so proud of my kids, Rita and Hogan. Excuse me, I got something in my eye. Um, friends, the drapes are closed. As you see, we're in a hot wave here right now. Uh, we got work to do. Brian just got two big cords of firewood delivered. Uh, Tyson, I'm going to use you, buddy. That's the gentleman, Brandon, who delivered the firewood. You're going to come out and give me a hand with the splitter. I look forward to it. I'll give you a hauler. Um, we got that. We got a tree job down the road to come. A guy's on holidays. He's coming back. We got a lot of crazy stuff coming on. Bunions coming in freaking October. I can't tell you what to do, but if you were planning on maybe coming over to Birkenstock, we ain't having a Birkenstock. They were too close to gather friends. Come to Paul Bunyan in October, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Come give me a hug for toot sakes. My boy's off to camp tomorrow again, his sec third shift, actually. He's killing it. He's happier than happy can be. My daughter's good. The wife's good. I'm good. I hope you are. Things are moving. The world's moving. Lift your f freaking friends up in the air, friends. Lift each other up. If you're beating somebody down, that means you ain't feeling that good and you need to do that to make yourself feel better. It's a subconscious thing that happens to the human being. Be aware of that. Let's try and lift each other up, friends. Let's do it. I'll catch you on the next video. Be kind, work hard, be honest, and I'll catch you on the next video.